So by this time tomorrow, Friday, 15th, February 2013, after the Electoral College convenes, Trinidad and Tobago will have a new president-elect. Details are in this report. The president of Trinidad and Tobago is elected by an electoral college, which is made up of the members of the House of Representatives and the Senate, all led by the Speaker of the House and Chairman of the Electoral College, Mr. Wade Mark. The incumbent president, Professor George Maxwell Richards, has served two terms as president, the first from March 2003 and then again on March 2008. His reign as president will end on March 17, 2013. The responsibility of the chairman of the college is to inform the members of the purpose of their meeting that the term of the president is due to an end and in accordance with the constitution, the college has to elect a president by February 17th. The chairman will announce that the call for nominations yielded only one nominee, Justice Anthony Thomas Aquinas Carmona, and therefore there is no need for a ballot. The chairman traditionally refers to the nomination paper and details of the nomination, which would include the person who agreed to be nominated and the 12 elected members who signed in the support of the nomination. The rules by which the college operates state that only elected members can nominate a person to become president. Senators are allowed to vote, but not to nominate. The rules also state that in circumstances where there is only one nominee, the Speaker must declare the sole nominee to be the elected president of Trinidad and Tobago. The college will then adjourn after congratulatory remarks and the nominee is not expected to be inside the chamber. It is expected that immediately upon his election, Justice Kamona will receive 24-hour security in preparation for his ascension as the nation's highest office holder. Professor George Maxwell Richards' re-election lasted seven minutes because he also was the sole nominee for the post, so Friday's proceedings should be as short. Previous citizens who held the office of president were Sir Ellis Clark, our first president, Mr. Noor Hassanali, a former appeal court judge, and Mr. A. N. R. Robinson, the first politician to be elected as president. Kanisha George, Channel 5 News.